Welcome to Thought for April the 29th. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 16, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, and Acts chapter 7. And our thought is, remember the day. We all have memories. Bad things we try to shut out of our memory, and good things we try to retain and bring to the fore. We read today how Moses told the people to look back on all the days of your life, that you may remember the day when you came out of the land of Egypt, in Deuteronomy 16 and verse 3. The Passover feast was set up to aid that memory, to cement it in their consciousness. Most of the generation that had experienced the miraculous deliveries had failed to do that and had died in the wilderness because of their faithlessness. Now Moses is delivering the message to the next generation, whose leaders had been teenagers and children at the time. Today's chapter details the feast they are to keep when they start living in the Promised Land, as well as remembering the actual deliverance through the Passover feast there are three other feasts associated with farming the land and the reward of harvesting. This they would experience for the first time in their lives. The key lesson is they are not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord. Verses 16 and 17. Verse 20 has another blunt punchline message. Justice and only justice you shall follow, that you may live and inherit the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Now, we consider our own journey in life and how close are we to the climax of all that God has prepared for all those who truly believe in him and love him. Is the crossing of the Jordan close at hand for us? We must face up to today's challenges and make sure we escape all the things that are going to take place. Luke 21 verses 36 As the Almighty prepares to cleanse the earth of its evil, let us remember the day when we made the commitment to join the Lord's side and accepted his deliverance by being baptised. If you have not yet experienced such a day, ask yourself very seriously, why? Don't let that day come upon you suddenly like a trap, as Luke 21 verse 34 says, so that you fail to enter a far greater promised land. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.